Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make an apron. So we're going to use this awesome panel. It's an apron panel from Riley Blake. Now the panel comes with the front of the apron. It's got some pockets. It's got the straps and the ties, and it's got all the directions here. But I know that not all of you have that apron panel. So I'm also going to show you how to make an apron from yardage that you have at home. The first step is to cut around the edges of all the pieces. So we're just cutting right along the edge of the printing there. So here's all the pieces that are cut out if you're using the panel. Now, if you're going to be using yardage, let me show you how to cut out those pieces. So pick out a nice print and you're going to need one yard. Let me draw out what we're going to need to cut here. Here is my yard. The first thing we're going to get is a big rectangle and it's going to be 22 inches wide and 32 inches tall. So let's do the 22 first. So the easiest way to do this is to fold it back up the way it came off the bolt and just cut a 22 inch piece. So be sure to make a nice straight cut here at the beginning. And then you're gonna to wanna to measure over 22 inches and then get your cut. So now we're going to open this up, put it on a straight line here. We'll make another fresh cut here so that we cut off the selvage. Then measure over 32 inches this way. So this is gonna be the body of the apron and we're gonna set these scraps aside. We will be cutting those, but let's finish getting this cut first. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two rectangles on the back of the apron. So we need to draw them like this. This is near the top and it's gonna be five inches wide and 11 inches long. So I'm gonna use a pencil because it will show up on the back of here. So there's a couple ways of doing this. You can, draw, you can measure down 11 inches, make a couple of lines at 11 inches here, and then we're going to go over five inches. So I'm just gonna draw like this till I get to the number five right here. Then I can just move my ruler over so I'm five inches over there and I'm gonna draw up. So I've got a rectangle there and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I've got a rectangle on both sides of the apron, but I don't wanna cut at a hard angle here. I wanna curve it off a little here and I wanna curve there. So I'm gonna make a template to use. I'm just gonna use a blank piece of paper here and I'm going to draw a quarter circle that's five inches. So I'm just using my ruler and making some little dots at five inches. Of course, if you have a compass left over from your school days, you could just use that. But if you do enough dots, you can eventually then connect them all and we will get a nice five inch curve. Now I'm going to cut along the drawn line there. And I'm going to use this to draw some more lines on the apron here. So first we're going to line up the edge here. And it's right where that 11 inch mark is. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to round this off. So I'm going to draw along here. And I just need to draw enough so I can cut it. It doesn't have to be a full line. And now we can cut right along here and get a nice, smooth curve. Now we want to make this curved also. So we're just gonna put the template right here so it's touching both edges there and draw one more line. Now we have a nice curve for our bodice and all we have to do is make those same lines and cuts on the other side. 
there's the nice top. Now I'm going to curve off the bottom two corners as well because I think that will make the apron look nice and pretty. Now we're going to take the scraps we had left over and we're going to cut some ties. So we're going to take the bigger piece and we're going to cut two pieces and they're going to be four and a half by 34 long. I'm just going to fold it in half here and cut four and a half, four and a half, and then chop it off at 34. Now we're going to take our smaller scrap and we are going to cut a piece that is 21 by 4 inches to go around the neck and then we're going to cut two 7 inch pockets. So now we've got all the pieces we need for both aprons and the first thing we're going to work on is the pockets. All we need to do is fold back a half inch. It's got a little line on the panel pockets but on your black ones or on your own fabric ones, you're still going to just fold back a half inch and iron it down. So all four sides get folded back. For the top or the opening of the pocket here, we're going to stitch it twice so that it looks nice and neat and our raw edge won't show. So I'm going right near the edge, I'm back tapping. And then I'm going to stitch it one more time, three-eighths of an inch in from the edge. And this way, I'm near the raw edge on the back side, and that will stay nice and secure. To place the pockets on the apron, we're going to go down two inches from this printed line, and we're going to go over two inches from the edge. Now for the black apron here, I don't have pre-printed lines, so I'm just going to go up 10 inches and I'm still going to come in 2 inches. Once you've got it exactly where you want it, put a lot of pins in around the edges so that it won't move while we stitch the pocket down. Now we're going to top stitch around these three edges of the pocket and be sure that you back tack right here because there's always a lot of stress on the pocket right there at the top. So do a lot of back stitching right there. Now we're ready to make the waist ties. And this is the only place where we make the two aprons differently. For the panel apron, we're gonna take two pieces and we're gonna put them front to back. And I'm gonna stitch around three sides on both these ties. But for this apron, I've got a bigger piece and I'm simply going to fold it in half and I'm going to stitch down one long side and across the bottom. So I've left this one short side open here so I can flip it right side out. Now for the apron out of yardage here, we're just going to stitch down this one long end and across the bottom. Now we want to turn the ties right side out. So before you turn them, Clip off a little bit of excess in the corners here. Be careful you don't cut your stitching. And then we're going to start at this end here, the closed up end. So if you can get the two layers apart and poke it in a little bit, you can take a stick, a yard stick. I use a curtain rod and I'm just going to poke this in here and you can slide this down over it and it will automatically turn it right side out as you go. Then we're going to flatten it out, and of course the corners aren't poked out yet. So the easiest thing to do is to get a big needle that's not real sharp and just poke it in there and pull, kind of push from the back side so you can get that nice pointy corner on there. Once they're all flipped, smoothed out, you want to steam press them nice and flat. We've got the neck strap here. And all we have to do on these is fold them in half, stitch along this one long edge, and turn it right side out.
here's the neck bands, nice and flat. So the printed apron here, we're just going to fold it like this and pin it. It's, it's marked up here, neck band. So I'm gonna pin these right where it says neck band. And then for the waist ties, it's marked again. So these are actually lining up with the pattern that's printed there. So we're gonna carefully line that up and pin it. Now, for the apron out of yardage here, we need to take the neck and fold it, and we're gonna pin it so it's about six inches apart. So I'm gonna line this up with the edges, pin there. You do wanna make sure you've got this centered, and then pin both of those. And for the ties, we're gonna go down about three eighths of an inch from this top edge here and pin both of those on. Now you wanna stitch this on securely, so I'm gonna back tack quite a bit because this is a spot you don't want to come apart. You don't want your ties coming off of your apron. We've got the whole front of the apron done and we do need to pick out a lining for it. And I don't wanna use something plain on the lining, I wanna use something that's really cute because their apron is actually gonna be reversible. So any of these would look good but I think this one will match the best. And that way, when the ties are showing from this side, they look really good. For the lining for the panel apron, I'm gonna go with this nice dark purple because it coordinates really well. Now we're gonna take our apron front and we're gonna put it right sides together on top of the lining. So you do wanna make sure that your straps, ties, neck strap is out of the way then pin all around the edges. Now all I have to do is stitch around the outside perimeter here and leave an opening. The easiest place to leave the opening is on one side here and you can leave about an eight inch opening. So I'm gonna use about a three eighths inch seam allowance and go all the way around. Now all we have to do is trim off all of this extra lining. So I'm just trimming it even with the top of the apron. Once you have all of that trimmed off, you're going to want to snip off the excess in the corner here so that we can flip it nicely. And it's also nice if you clip along these inside curves here. So I'm clipping near the stitching. Now we will flip this right side out through the opening and flatten it all out. Once you've got it flattened out enough, iron all the way around the edges. So here's the opening and I've got it ironed nice and neat there. So we're just going to stitch that up near the edge. And then I'm going to keep going all the way around the outside edge of the apron and it'll make a nice decorative top stitch. I've got the apron all done here. I really like how this turned out. So you can bring these ties around to the front. And of course, if you wanna wear it from the other side, now we've got the ties showing from this side. I actually like that side, not better, but just as well. Now we've also got the nice chickens here or roosters. This one is really fun with the pink pockets and you can see it's kind of big on me. I mean, it fits fine on me, but if you were taller, you still can pull this up. It's still gonna fit. This one is really cute too. So tell me in the comments, which one you like the better. I would love to know your opinion. Thanks for watching our tutorial today on how to make this apron. It's really a fast project. So if you're going to be doing any holiday baking, like I'm gonna do with my granddaughter, this is the perfect thing that you can make before you start making those cookies. Now, there's one more thing. We're going to have another giveaway. You may have seen the tutorial where we made the X Factor quilt. So this is the one I made. It's in nice batiks, nice and warm, and it's very easy to enter the giveaways. All you have to do is click that link below the video that says giveaway and put in your email address and your name and you might win this quilt. Now, if you enjoy our tutorials and you'd like to support us, 
the best thing you can do is to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That really helps us out a lot. Happy quilting.